I'm Tudulo Pe Akiyemi Uluwabukola. My nickname is Tudulo of God, so you can call me Tudulo of God. And yes, I am the founder of Single Ladies Corner by the Grace of God. And this is my YouTube channel. In case you're seeing this video for the first time and you're seeing this face for the first time, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, I would love you to get to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos. I'm sure it's going to help you. But today specifically is for single ladies gonna. Yes, and um, today we are going to be treating a very sensitive topic, which is titled do how to break free from soul ties and uh, i'm going to be touching some part of how to get over your ex and how to break free from emotional attachment or any form of attachment so sit back relax and enjoy <music> of god we are helped of god already hallelujah so today we're talking about soul ties and how to break free from soul ties firstly we need to understand that um, before we decide to break free from soul ties or get over our eggs or break free from any form of emotional attachment there has to be a reason now there is a saying that says that if the purpose of a thing is not known abuse is inevitable so also applies to this situation right here if we don't know why we are doing this we might not stick to it to it for so long we might not make a very strong decision or our decision to get over the ex or get over um, any emotional ties or soul ties will not be strong enough and if a decision is not strong enough you know there is a possibility that you go back to what you decided not to go back to which has bring me to the point of defining why you want to break free from soul ties so many people ask different reasons they want to break free from soul ties so many people ask different reasons you have to identify why you want this you have to be like determined you have to be determined that okay this is why i want to do this and you have to stick to it and take action step take positive step work towards it until it yield the desired results that you want some people's reason for having decided to break free from soul ties is because of the pain the agony it's, it's so exhausting for them and that is why they say no i want to break free from it and some people's reason why they want to break free from soul ties is because it's it's because the person they are they used to be with is no longer interested in them or the love they once shared with the person does not exist again so they want freedom they want freedom many reasons like that like that that i would not be able to mention here because of our time now having said that then we have to understand what soul ties is what are the signs that i actually have soul ties and i need help in this area or what are the signs that i've not gotten over my ex yet you know and i need to completely get over my head before i can move on now, the one of the signs you look out for or you should examine in yourself is that you would notice that you always want to impress this partner. Like your life depends on this partner. Like if you make any decision, it has to revolve around this partner. If you post, for example, if you post certain pictures, it has to be to impress this person. Like to make this person see it, even, even though the person does not um um reply or give a comment you are uh, you long to to see the person's comments about certain pictures you posted on social media or you want to just do everything to impress them that is sign that you have so tight another sign that you have so tight is if you cannot do the way with them you can't do without them you can't do without thinking about them 24 hours yeah the, the thought of them consumes you that means you still have issues with soul ties and you are not completely over that ex or that person you want to get over. If you are this kind of person that you always experience, you always experience having like having to make decisions to suit certain people, that means you're still having issues with soul ties. So how do we break free? from soul ties the most important thing you need to first mm -hmm. do that most people neglect and they talk 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 is praying talk to god about it 
the bible says if you commit your ways to the lord he will direct your path commit everything to god's hands most people relate with god like god is up there you know he's not closer he said he is affected with our infirmities he, know, he knows exactly how we feel and how it feels what he just wants from us is our sincerity the bible says if any of you will humble yourself and pray he is ready to hear you he has given you his assurance and his word he said he lifts his word he said he honors his word more than his name and his word is that you should ask anything in my name and i will give unto you so you need to ask god to help your heart because most of the time you can't do it alone you have tried so many times to do you have done so many things you have engaged in uh, pornography addiction so many things to get over this person you have drunk alcohol you have done a lot of things to get over this person but it's not just working what you need to do is to surrender to God. What you need to do is to allow God, you know, to work it out for you. And you have to be sincere with God. Like I said earlier, Lord, I feel pain in my heart. I feel hatred towards this person. Help my heart, oh God. Take away this hatred. Ask anything and 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 wait. And and now like ask anything in the name of Jesus and he will do it. If there is a sure there is an assurance that God will answer your prayer only if you will humble yourself and pray. Now that's the most important thing I want to emphasize on. Pray. Talk to God. God is near to you more than ever. He said he's near. He said the spirit of God is near to the broken at the that is those that are broken at the spirit of God is even much more near to you than you can ever imagine. All you need to do is talk to God. All you need to do is, is to just open up to God and pray. Even if you don't feel like it, say, God, I don't feel like talking to you right now. God, I'm feeling this pain. I want it out. Please help me. That's the way to go. Now, the second thing you need to do is, you know, you might say this is kind of childish, but you need to stop communicating to such person. Yes, I will say, you know, communication actually like fuels emotions and fuels feelings and also fuels attachment towards someone. So you need to like avoid communicating to such person. Yes, it's very, very important. At least for a while, for a while. It doesn't have to be for life. For a while, talk to like try to avoid that person in, in the form of communication. And if it is possible, block that person on all social media yes some people might say it's childish it's gonna go who maturity help i'm sorry like you're you're being mature and you're being hot like how does that help you in any way so i would say for a while block the person you don't have to block the person from your life completely but limit your communication block the person from or any social media and do that will uh, that will want to tempt you to communicate with such a person you know there are some 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 guys that, that feel like okay we can still be friends but we are not going to be in a relationship but there are guys like that, that are nice they are good actually they have good intention and it's right but i would advise you for your own mental health your mental safety your mental sanity please don't keep such friendship you might be friends yeah from afar but not kind of close friend that you'll be telling you hello how are you fine every morning no no not now not now that you are still that you still have feelings for them not now that you are still engrossed with the thoughts of them not now that you can't even do without them not now that you can't do anything you can't make any decision without considering them and how they feel not now not now you need to understand the fact that ladies um, they eat differently from male uh, from guys the way guys heal from emotional trauma emotional breakdown is very very much different from the way a lady will heal and you need to understand that there are some guys that it's not like they are wicked but they don't just understand and they don't have to because they are not a lady they are not a female you understand Females are emotional beings. Guys are logical beings. We are two different people. You need to understand that. And that affects every area of our life, even our relationship with people, and most especially opposite sex. 
So when you are getting attached to someone and it's not defined, it's not good for you as a Flee. The Bible says, flee from all appearance of evil. That is where it starts from. That's exactly where it starts from. So, it's good to, you can still be a friend, you know, to an ex, but it's not a close friend. Just like up dear friend. I don't know how to explain that, but it's a distant friend. Not a kind of close relationship friend that will still be sending you good money message every every day. No, that's 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 totally unfair to you. That's totally unfair to you. So block any form of communication you have with them until you are healed and you, you feel like you are okay to now accommodate them or see them around. Until you feel that, until you are comfortable with that, do not allow them into your life at that moment. That's the first thing. Secondly, you need to be expressive. That is, if you are being hot, there are some people that they are not hot in any way. If you are being hot, you need to be expressive. Either you write it in your diary, if that relieves your pain, fine. If you need to be expressive to the person that caused you the pain, be expressive. Stop forming nonsense maturity. That does not help you in any way that affects you psychologically and spiritually stop it it doesn't help anyone it doesn't help you do you think they care when you whether you're, you're you're mature or you're not mature do they really care you need to get that into your score like you need to get that into your head you need to understand that they do not care whether you're understanding or not, they do not care. Whether they are, you are mature or not, they do not care. Whether you, you are worth material or not, they do not care. Once they make their decision, the decision is what? Final. So what you need to do is to prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself. Look after yourself. Let everything that you're going to be doing be centered around you. Might be selfish, yes, but... You should not love your neighbor more than yourself. Because how would you even learn to learn to treat your neighbor rightly when you don't, when you've not mastered the piece of learning how to love yourself and prioritizing yourself first? So, what am I saying? If you need to talk to the person, pick your phone call and call the person. That might be your last person you'll be talking to that person, but make sure you're expressing. You can insult the person. If that's how you feel, insult, not cause, please. To no cause, to no commit sin. But you are permitted to be hungry. That's just what I want you to understand. I'm not here to just cajole you and just say, you move on, be mature. No, 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 I will not. Because we are not spirits. We are human beings. And human beings are not raised the same way. They are not raised the same way. But you must not be rude. You can be rude sometimes because... Well, I had my own experience and I was rude at some point because I was, I was pained, I was hurt, but it was never my intention to be rude. Never my intention to be rude. Never. You understand? But just make sure you are very, very much expressive. If it's sending a text is okay, if you feel like you're going to send a text, sending a text is okay. If you feel like, you know, call, video call, video call is okay, you know, Writing a diary or talking to someone about it will help you. Just do what best works for you. What works best for you, just do it. Now, um, our, the last one I'm going to say is to block such person in every social media window. Yeah, do not um, be tempted to want to interact with such person again. It's help you to avoid interaction with such person at that moment. You are not going to block the person forever. But for the main time that you need to work on your emotions, work on your mental health, you need to stop communicating and block them on every social media. Um, Alright, so make new friends. Create new hobbies. Do new things. Create new things. Like, do new things. Attempt to do new things. Learn new skills. Meet new friends. If it's possible, change your environment. You know, just to maintain your sanity. Just to help you, you know, um, heal emotionally and mentally. You understand? If it's possible, change your environment. Change your friends. Meet new friends. Have a new hobby. 
Make sure that your hobby, make sure that you have an hobby that you enjoy, that is interesting, that keeps you busy, that keeps you happy. Just do something to make you happy. To make you happy. And uh, last but not the least is after everything that you've done, you still need to depend on God. Because after doing all of that, there will still be a space in your heart for this person. No, after doing all of that, once in a while, there will be this feeling of does it really want it? Does it really want it? Should I go back to this person? Should I beg this person? You know, a lot of people have done stupid things all in the name of them. the fact that they are helpless emotionally. At that point, depend on God to help you. Help you. Because after doing all of this, you will still the feeling to go back to whatever you have decided not to do again. Or the feeling to, you know, feeling like, let me give up, will come once in a while. But one thing you should always remind yourself is why did I decide to do this? If you understand the why, your decision will be strong. That's it. That's it. If you understand your why, why you decide to leave this person, why you decide to break free from these soul ties that I have with this particular person, why I decided to, you know, break free from this emotional attachment, then your reasons will be strong. And you will not go back because your decision and your cooperation is very much important to breaking free after prayer to breaking free from soul ties that will be the end of today's talk session if you have any question whatsoever you can drop it on the group i will respond you can drop it on my youtube um, channel in this comment section i will respond please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share with your friends thank you so much for watching till the end once again i love you till i come your way again until you're god bye